Yep. <laughs> right, OK. Steven Spielberg. This was half yeah. sprayed yesterday. I'm going to spray the other half of the body shell now. And the way you do these, it's just a little poke first. That's all I'm going to do. It's just a very, very thin coat. You can see it's totally transparent, yeah? <laughs> OK. And you can see from the back end of the car, you can see that's a bit more solid. The front is quite weak at the moment. You need to let the coat of paint dry before you apply your next coat. If it was warmer out here, this paint will dry quickly. But that is still fairly sort of wet at the moment. So what can you do to speed up? If you want to do a really quick job, and you, you heard me mention earlier on that I sprayed like 30 BMWs start to finish in about five minutes, a hairdryer is a brilliant way of doing it. Not concentrated at one spot because you will just dry that one bit, but it's not even drying your hair. You're not going to put all your heat on one part of it. You're going to burn your head. So you, you spread the heat around. So glass with a hairdryer, I mean, that's right, that is gone fairly dry already. So I'm going to give it another coat now. A little bit thicker this time, just to build up the layers. But making sure that I do not put too much paint on there. If I put too much on, and I will show you this, as if somebody was trying to spray the body shell in one go. Get off the, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. But look what I've done. Can you see that? It's all gone runny. There's way too much paint. You can see the paint now running along the side. Yes. Yeah. That's why I've actually put way too much on there. <laughs> Sorry, grass. Um, and then people are putting that paint to oh, the paint's gone blotchy, the paint's run, etc, etc. Made a right old mess of it. That's what happens when you try and spray the body shell in one go. And I don't know if you can see it now, it's starting to bubble up as well. Can you see that? Exactly what we did. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's starting to get little air bubbles in there. But what I've sprayed, yeah, still a little bit damp in the patch there, but the rest of the body shell is A-OK. -okay. Right, that's two coats already. Uh, on the front end, um, but it's not quite ready for a third coat yet. But this will generally take about four thin coats from start to finish. All right. Now this is a fairly transparent body shell. I've picked metallic red to spray this body shell up with. If you spray it black, white, some of the solid colours, you'd probably get away with three thin coats because it's a solid colour. Because this is metallic, it's slightly transparent. Um, it will take four coats and then what we would need to do is back it with another colour and that will really bring the colour to life. So I'll just give it one more quick coat. That's all it needs. I haven't gone over the top with it. Just uh, three gentle coats and that is pretty much a finished body shell on the inside there. Now what we will then do is I will back it with silver and then I can peel off all of the window masks and the windows, can you see that there's no paint, there's a slight bleed there but that's okay because the window sticker will come over that. Once you've finished spraying your body shell, the protective film that, that Chris mentioned earlier, make sure I don't get paint, not a good idea wearing a white shirt actually when you're, when you're spraying. They look good in pink. But then you peel off protective fill yeah and you can see that I've got a really really good finish on the body shell there yeah so that's with your protective fill and of course you've got no overspray because we're spraying outside a little bit of a breeze the paint could actually blow around and land on the outside but when you finish spraying peel this protective film off and you will have a perfectly finished on the outside body shell and yes on the inside you can see where the paint is but on the outside, that's where you get your end result. Another thing to remember is when you spray your body shell, make sure that they take the protective film off before they put the stickers on. <laughs> we have had instances where we've had body shells come back, they've been beautifully painted, beautifully stickered, and they oh God, they've left the film on, and you peel the, the film off, and all the stickers come off with it, and you're left with a bare body shell again. So uh, I've just got paint on the floor there, so just be careful of that little patch there. But that's how to spray a body shell. All right, any questions on that? Just a couple of things. Chris mentioned this as well. 
if it's cold, if it's damp, oh, you'll get condensation <laughs> on the inside of the body shell. You try and paint over that. It's like painting a wet body shell. You're going to get watermarks, streaks all over it, and it's going to look a right old mess. All right. So make sure it's half decent weather. You spray it outside. I don't know if you can smell the paint at all. There is a little bit of a smell in the air from it. But obviously, if you do that inside, that's going to linger around the house for quite a while. Is it the same uh, process for the hard shells as well? No, it'd be a different because you've got different paints. You're using uh, acrylics and enamels instead of a polycarbonate paint. But I'm it's a still the same. Yeah, wash, wash the, wash the, the process. Well. Yeah, you still yeah, need to first. prep the body first. Sometimes you need to sand them down with uh, a very fine abrasive bit of theirs. Any snots, which Chris will mention a little bit later on. Um, <laughs> all the best notes. Yeah, technical names. <laughs> yeah. Um, but with regards to polycarb painting, that's what I've done for the last. 20 25 years, uh, but body shells are very, very simple to paint. The other thing that I've done with this, I think you spotted that. Um, I use little off cuts of the decal sheet to tape over the holes because there are holes in the body. And if you don't cover them, you, you're holding the body shell there, you spray through it, you got <laughs> have little spots on your hand, stuff like that. Okay, I've got multi layers of different colours. Sorry, multi layers of different colours. Yeah, if you want to uh, paint, if you want to spray more than one colour of a body shell. Let's say you want to do uh, a black, red and white body shell. Always spray the darkest colour first. So you would spray your black first, and then if you're doing masking as such, you put a design on it, stick your masking tape on, you want to put stripes down it, for example. You put your stripes in, you paint your black, and then peel off the first stripe that you want, say is red, you spray the body shell again. Because bearing in mind you're painting on the inside, what you're going to see is what you lay down first. So the black will be the first colour, the red will be the next one, and then finally you peel off your white. So the mask and then spray the whole thing white. If you did it the other way round, sprayed the white first, then sprayed the red, the red will be backing the white and, you'll, and it will bleed through. It will look almost pink. Yeah, it wouldn't look very good at all. Then if you spray your black after your red, the red becomes really, really dark. Okay, so always your darkest colours first, up to your lightest ones at the end. Alright, now that at the moment, yeah, it's looking okay, but it's still slightly transparent. If I spray this silver, or white, I would use silver on this because it's a metallic body shell. That will give it real good depth of colour, and it will finish off the body shell nicely. Alright, but temperature is key, nice day, outside, perfect spraying conditions. Just a bit warmer would have dried the body shell even quicker, but that's it. And we've been out here, what, five minutes? And we've sprayed the body. It's done. All right. That's it.